Hi there, it's Kevin again from the Figure Owners Club and it's great to be with you. Um, I wanted to do a video about the uh, Clarion um, CD radio that uh, we all have in our cars. Uh, or hopefully you've got in your car. I, I do know of some Figure O's where um, we've seen um, not this particular radio fitting and uh, a standard um, radio fitted in its place. Obviously the car came without that. So, which is a real shame because um, the, this radio CD um, tape player is, is just a fantastic bit of kit um, when you consider it um, was uh, manufactured in 1991 uh, it's actually one of the very first CDs that was fitted to a car so that's a good bit of information when you are showing, showing your car at car shows and such like you get people talking to you this was one of the very first cars that actually included a CD player and hence the reason why if you um, if you're going along a road and you go over some bumps uh, it, uh, it's not dampened like a modern CD player was uh, sort of later models uh, in cars tend to, to um, the, the mechanism was dampened so you can go over lots of bumps but but with the figure eight you can't and uh, that kind of adds a, uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun to the car really um, obviously the the, the particular uh, unit that was fitted was uh, manufactured for the Japanese market so the important thing to remember here is um, the, the radio stations actually on the original system uh, were tuned for the Japanese market so if you bring the car obviously if you're in the UK and you're trying to get um, channels in the UK obviously it, it, it didn't work so you could get a few channels on, on medium wave but uh, most of the time um, the people like Ra Radio 2 and stuff like that you, you just couldn't get so um, Hence, um, Clarion, which are the manufacturers of, of the CD, um, obviously saw a, saw a gap that, that they could actually offer a, um, a retro upgrade. So to do this, obviously what you need to do is uh, take the radio out of your car, um, uh, which I'm going to show you how to do that, and then uh, you need to send it back to Clarion and, and they actually produce um, four different types of upgrades. Um, the most basic upgrade provides you with a, an output um, that you can get uh, where you can connect your um, mp3 player or your radio uh, sorry your, your phone to uh, just a, a standard 3.5 millimeter jack plug um, which is which is really nice um, and obviously what they also do they've changed this particular display so at the moment obviously when you're when you're winding you can see the fabulous the way this works actually as well the, the, the little tiny needle showing you the the frequencies you're on is just an amazing little bit of kit uh, unfortunately this, this particular part is replaced and it's replaced with a digital um, display and within that obviously what what you also get with, with the upgrade is um, you also get the ability to be able to obviously get um, all the all the usual channels that, you, that you're used to listening to and FM and such like if you go to another level up then you can get uh, the dab and then another level up then obviously you can have things like um, uh, a microphone connected to it as well um, to, to allow you to obviously make calls on your phone so as I said there's there's four different upgrades that, that Clarion will do and uh, as I said they're, they're the original manufacturers of, of the unit so uh, you've got the confidence in knowing it's going back to um, the place in which they totally understand the unit and it's great considering it's 27 years old now that, that this company's offering that so uh, uh, the details of, of, uh, or of where to send it to is obviously on our website if you click on um, Figure Owners Club and then click on information, go down to a CD player and then you'll see all the information. It's James at uh, Clarion that, that will deal with you. Um, also the Figure Owners Shop offer that as well. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, move to the next stage which is just how to take the radio out and um, it's very very simple and uh, the procedure is to send it back. Okay cheers. So just um, before you start, um, it's quite good because uh, obviously you've got the gear stick here, it's quite close to the radio, but actually if you push this down here, you can actually put all that all the way back to one here. And that gives you a lot more room to work on to, to remove the unit. So what you've got here, you've got um, two screws here at the bottom, and then you've got two on one side here hoping I can see that yep and then two on the other there um, 
and uh, obviously the unit so what you need to do is obviously take the load as you unscrew it and then the whole thing will come out and then you've got uh, a cable that runs from the back so we'll we'll see that in a minute uh, something I also meant to uh, say is um, obviously if you've got the original um, original unit and you've not had any work done to it and you want to play a um, play it on your on your phone or, or, or your mp3 player then uh, these little uh, tapes here are quite good uh, with a very crude cable and all that does that just goes into the tape player you can pick these up off off, uh, off the internet for a few quid so uh, that converts the um, the tape head into a, a signal and then you can connect that to your to your mp3 player your I, your ipod or uh, your, your phone and uh, this you can listen to music then which is a what we do in a uh, little figure what we've done today before uh, we've had it uh, changed over so there we go i'm just going to uh, start the work now and um, we'll just show you what's involved so probably best to uh, start with the bottom screws take this off yep. to do that you need a phillips screwdriver and then looking under here you got the two screws one side and two screws the other side so I've just got the last one here so the best thing to do is to take the weight as it comes down there we go. that's the one and then I've put a, a blanket here just to hold it as it comes out so you'll find that it it's a little bit tricky because it's um got a cable trying to connect from the back there as you can see there we go so you've got the um, the cable here as you can see running from the back of the of the unit and that's a uh, just a, a little uh, button underneath I pull that towards you well, that'll come out and that's it unit out quite simple there we go. So you can see the uh, the composite connection here, and that does the power uh, left speaker and right speaker. That's what all these little uh, connectors are for. And then you've got your your aerial here. So as you can see, it comes out of here, and these are the screws here that we've just removed and up here. So quite simple, really. So I just thought I'd show you the uh, the radio actually is out of the car. Um, so you've got to obviously, it's one complete unit. So it's uh, fairly easy to remove. You've got uh, four screws here. I'll show you that in a minute. Basically there's a plate that goes on the back here, um, which is bolted to that. So you've got one connector which is in the back here and that's a what you call a composite connector and then that's the socket for the uh, for the aerial so quite a simple little uh, structure there really and uh, as I said that's it out of the car um, very very simple really okay so we've got the new radio installed now just turn it down a little bit and as you can see uh, we've got all the channels. I've just done a, a search and it's found uh, BBC Radio 2. And if you click here, you've got CD MP3 player. Obviously no disc at the moment. Then you've got the auxiliary input. So if you go up to here, uh, put the cable here. So this can plug straight into your uh, your phone or your um, your MP3 player, your iPod. So um, that's uh, that's the unit installed. As you can see, they've changed this this dial here to a digital digital dial now as opposed to what was there before uh, so obviously exactly the same casing all the buttons are uh, as they were before but they do actually operate um, different things and uh, when you get the radio back you'll get uh, an instruction leaflet with you that, sh that tells you what uh, what buttons do what obviously because they, they don't want to put uh, different buttons on it because uh, obviously it loses its styling so uh, as I said uh, they do uh, they do uh, four different types um, the option one is uh, this is the pricing from um, April 2018 so you've got option one which is 229 pounds 
and for that obviously they do all the uh, the radio um, tuning for you plus they give you uh, a line input cable which is this one here there we go so that comes out the back of uh, back of the uh, back of the unit um, basically you can upgrade to an option two which is 274 pounds uh, that includes everything that you get on option one plus you get a USB cable and you get an iPod, uh, an iPod or iPhone uh, FM connector, USB audio. So that term, um, obviously, the USB will connect straight to your uh, straight to your iPad uh, or iPod if you like, and uh, obviously charge it as well, which, which is really good. Um, option three is um, the next one up. Again, gives you all the options one and option two, but it also has um, full basically. Um, it comes with a microphone as well, so you can um, you can connect your um, connect your phone to it, and obviously you can do um, you can do uh, hands hands free speak speech on on the go. Uh, and the last one is an option three plus, and this um, does everything um, everything the, all the others do, uh, including uh, a dab. Uh, so so God, uh, it's got it's got the latest digital uh, channels. Um, that's option three plus. So anyway, I thought this would be a useful little video. Again, uh, this will be uh, on our website um, under the upgrade, if you like. And what you need to do is you need to t t take the unit out, send it back to Clarion. And I think it's something like, it could be six to eight weeks at the moment. Um, so you're going to be without that in your car, but you can still drive your car without the radio in it Don't worry about that and obviously they'll ship it back to you and um, then you can just uh, reinstall it uh, Same connector straight into the back of the unit um, aerial socket in um, And away you go. So anyway, I hope this has been useful um, Another one of our little videos which just explains a little bit more about the accessories of the car and the Figaro and uh, I'll uh, see you all soon on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Bye. -bye.